Hello world, I'm an Average Joe and I play games. And today I'm going to share uh, something that I'm a little bit excited about. Um, as you know, I kind of geek out a little bit around game design. I think it's a lot of uh, my experience as a software engineer and focusing on user experience. User experience is something that I'm very passionate about in my professional life. And uh, so when we, you know, when I get to talk about game design, I also get really excited because it's kind of user experience-ish. And I think that I'm so first of all, I'm recording this the night before House of Wolves comes out. So um, when you guys see this, House of Wolves will probably be out. So you probably will not be watching this video because you'll be playing. But regardless, um, so I haven't been able to jump on this week. I jumped on just completed a couple of the ether chest bounties, and I thought that they were designed brilliantly. Bungie is demonstrating that they are really going to bring their A game for House of Wolves. And the ether chests, the the whole concept of you know these uh, daily bounties that uh, that you can do to get House of Wolves gear and uh, or I don't know if you can get gear, but you can get the little, little treasure keys and uh, build up Queen's uh, uh, wrath reputation and all that um, is is really brilliant uh, for a couple of reasons. So first of all, it gets people playing Destiny again. So I saw on Twitter the other day someone uh, had made a shirt. Uh, I survived the Destiny uh, 2015 content gap, which I thought was pretty funny. But uh, but we all know that uh, Destiny has uh, suffered from content of late, and uh, and it really got people playing Destiny again. I never really took a break. I've played Destiny, um, you know, every Tuesday night, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at least for you know ever since it came out. And uh, and back when there was a lot of uh, new content to do, I was playing every night. So I took a little bit of a hiatus, um, you know, aside from the Tuesday reset and uh, playing a little bit over the weekend the last couple of weeks, just because I knew that House of Wolves was coming and I didn't want to just burn myself out by playing the same game over and over again because there were other games that I wanted to play. So it got me playing again, and I'm sure it got many of you playing again. And additionally, I think that the Ether Chest really hit on some of the core gameplay mechanics that made us fall in love with this game in the first place. So first of all, it really keys in on that optimal time to play Destiny, kind of that one to four hour per day range. A lot of people that you know really hit the content gap early were the you know the YouTubers and you know these people that you know were playing Destiny eight or ten hours a day, and that's not the kind of game that Destiny was made to be. Quite quite simply, in my opinion, Destiny is optimal when you're playing one to four hours a day. Call that casual, call that hardcore. You know, there's you know no real definition of what a casual or hardcore player is I've uh, I've said that on this channel before um, you know compared to all of my friends I am a hardcore player but compared to a lot of you know MMO or other type of, uh, of players that play a lot more than than I do you know one or two hours a day um, you know I, I would be considered a casual player so so I'll get off my soapbox there but uh but having it as a be quiet phone having it as a daily bounty I think really highlights that uh that optimal playtime in destiny and one of the things that I liked about it is it brought back that casual farming, hanging out, uh, you know, type atmosphere that, you know, particularly early on in Destiny's life cycle, um, you know, that, that there was early on in Destiny's life cycle. So if you're a day zero player like myself, you'll remember, you know, kind of the first uh, you know, a couple of weeks of Destiny when it came out, where you would have this type of, you know, casual farming. You know, everyone would go to patrol, and, you know, they were looking for, you know, planetary materials and things like that. And, you know, there will be, you know, this is before we had, you know, public event timer sites and everything like that. We really didn't know how they worked. You know, we all thought they were probably random or something like that. And, you know, then a public event would occur and everyone in the area would get so excited and, you know, uh, kind of, you know, run around and uh, participate in the event. And then the event would be over and everyone would go their merry way. And, you know, uh, day zero, uh, people like myself will remember, you know, before there was all of the, um, you know, the different ways to get planetary materials, because now, um, you know, you can get it through your bounties, you can get it through playing the, the daily story mission, you can get it through just purchasing it for marks outright. That's what I do because I always have an overabundance of, uh, overabundance of marks. 
back in the day, there there was no other way to get planetary materials than the old-fashioned way of just grinding them out. And so, many of you will remember, you know, the and a lot of this was before we had, uh, you know, knew where all the chests were and everything like that. So, you know, people would load in patrol to patrol and, you know, that's what I would do. And, you know, just kind of run around and, you know, look for the chest like crazy. And when you found it, you would stop and just start pointing. <laughs> so all the players in the area would know that, Hey, you found a chest and come get it. And you would wait to open it until, until they, they came and they got it. And, you know, that was a, you know, kind of a, you know, camaraderie, we're all in this together, we're all after the same thing type of a type of event that, you know, really drew me into the game. And the, the last thing that I, I think that, um, that really demonstrates the brilliance of the, uh, the whole ether chest little mini event is that the, the return of RNG. And so say what you want, you know, a lot of people will curse RNG or whatever. M me personally, I don't mind it because you will get statistically you're going to get everything eventually. I was a day zero player. I just got my Galar horn literally five days ago um, on the uh, as uh, one of the nightfalls uh, from this past week. And so, you know, I would joke around about not having a uh, Galar horn, but, you know, and that was literally the, the last um, exotic weapon that I needed. I, I have all of my my exotic weapons and all of the armor except lucky raspberry for the hunter and maybe one of the one of the striker titan helmets but who cares about striker titan um the, the helmets for strikers are, are awful um and so you know i i may have joked around and complained about it but you know the everyone has a story of you know some exotic that they got um, you know, at, at an awesome time, or maybe it was, uh, you know, your fate ringer or your, um, you know, whatever, uh, exotic that, uh, that you really like, maybe it was your black hammer or your hunger of crota, you know, there's some, some exotic or some, uh, legendary weapon that you got at a, uh, at a time that you will always remember. And you'll always take that with you. Everyone has that story. Anyone who has been playing destiny for a little while, and that I think is, uh, you know, is highlighted in the ether chest system because, you know, you're rolling that dice. I did not get no, tr I did not get any treasure keys um, from from the the ether chest. Am I upset about that? Eh, not really, because every time that I went up to an ether chest, I was excited to see what was in there. And I think that's, you know, one of the uh, the great things about the the RNG system. So there you guys have it. Me geeking out just a little bit. Oh, I'm a super excited for House of Wolves to drop in uh, just about 12 hours or so, about 13 hours from when I'm recording this video. So I'm going to uh, record this and uh, post it online as soon as I get it done. And uh, I will see some of you guys online tomorrow. I'm going to be playing through the story mission a little bit, um, play through those, and then jump into uh, Prison of Elders. And maybe I'll, I'll probably jump back on this 360 to play Prison of Elders and try to pick some of you guys up. So, all right, leave me a comment down in the comment section below if you want to react to anything in this video. And let me know what you're going to be playing first when House of Wolves drops. All right, we'll see you in the next game.